Welcome to the unofficial ACI guide. This is Jody. We're going to be looking at vMotion and vKernel considerations when you're dealing with ACI and vSphere. Let's take a look. I'm going to talk about uh, what we've done in the ACI because we have to have a for the vMotion to work, you have to set up VM kernel. This is a control packet that is a communication between ESX host across the pods. So, so usually, you know, you want to be able to extend this VLAN across also. So let me go to my ACI from the tenant. So we created, we created under pod, but it could, this EPG could be in the common or it could be anywhere. So it doesn't matter. So application EPG. So here's my, I call it net V motion. So he is part of the VMM domain. And uh, this is just a layer two extension across multipart. So if I go down to my emotion BD, you can see um, it has to be flood, has to be turned on. Uh, because I think the ESX hosts are silent, so you have to, because we tried with the other proxy, it didn't will have to be flooded. And you okay. don't have to have a SGI, so it's just a layer two extended across. If okay. I go to my v, v center, uh, let me show you what we've done. If I go to home, networking tab, once we add the VMM to the EPG, it creates that motion, you know, you see that port group is created here, right? So now what we're going to do is when we go to host and cluster, so let's pick one of the hosts, uh, so let's say 144. Yeah. Under configure, yeah. VM kernel adapters, you see it's showing up here. Mm -hmm. I give it the IP address of, you know, you can pick any IP. So I pick 2.2.2.144. So let me just show you how we set it up. You click, click on plus. VM current network adapter. And you can see, you know, it tells you it's just a kind of all that stuff. Oh, right. Yeah, exactly. So if I do next. So now we're going to select, since we already created an ACI. We can click on browse. This port group shows up under the motion. See that? Yep. And then say next. You select your remotion and say next. That's where you, you give it the IP address. That's where you put the IP address. Okay. Exactly. So let's just step forward right now. I'm not going to submit, but just show you. Next and finish. That's all you have to do. So, okay. If I go back here. If I look at and you have to create that VM kernel on every ESXi host. Yes. That will be attached That's to your DVS, right? Yeah. Exactly. So if I go to one forty six, it's created here. VMK one. Okay. If I go to B series. You see, it's created. You create any version right. you, you want to do the motion. So, okay. So that's pretty much it. So we want to make sure this this BD is extended across multipart. So, so when the VMs uh, when you do the motion, the ESX hosts they communicate with each other across the pod. So that uh, that facilitates the V motion. Cool. Very good. Thank you, Javid. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you, sir. Thanks for watching the video today. If you'd like more ACI how to's, design guides, and best practices, check us out on the web at unofficialaciguide.com or on YouTube.